What up, what up, YouTube, and welcome to episode 8 of Low League Madness. On the bottom left-hand side of the map, we have our red Protoss player, Potato King, and on the top right-hand side of the map, we have our blue Protoss player, Zealot. This is going to be a silver versus silver level matchup, so things could get pretty hilarious indeed. Potato King throwing down the pylon in the natural base location. This tells us he's likely going to be going for an early nexus right here taking a look at zealot side of things throwing down what is going to be a gateway in the main base this doesn't rule out an early expansion from him but my money is on potato king going for the earlier nexus right here throwing down a gateway kind of late i want to say and the unfortunate thing in pvp matchups is the Protoss player that's going for the greedier play puts themselves at a slight disadvantage because if their early Nexus is scouted, which it will be, the opposing Protoss player could throw down some cheese and totally shut down the greedy play of their opponent and straight up win the game. So we're going to see if that's what's going to be happening here. But Zealot actually going to be going for what is a forge right here. So he's going for a cannon rush, but this is a really late cannon rush. And Potato King notices this. I don't think Zealot was banking on seeing buildings on the low ground. <laughs> this absolutely gives him away. We do have what is going to be a really big pro pull right here. Uh, Protoss, sorry, Potato King is going to be able to shut this down and actually corners this probe and takes it out. Potato King not even bothering with this pylon anymore he's chilling throws down this nexus anyway throwing down the cybernetic score he's like man nothing's gonna stop me from going through with my build right here i'm still going for the greedy play i shut down that cannon rush but not bothering not bothering doing anything about this pylon at all so and we see what's going to be a cannon queued right here so Zealot still going for the cannon rush. Now Potato King starting to soften up this pylon with a single probe. I, even though this pylon still is still here, I really don't think this cannon rush is going to work. We already have the cybernetic score down. We have what is going to be a stalker on the way as well. The stalker will easily be able to shut down the cannons if they don't finish in time. But we have what is going to be two photon cannons. So this is still actually a little bit scary right here. We have two photon cannons and an extra pylon. I wouldn't go for this pylon if I were Potato King. I would go for the photon cannons. And Potato King, okay, fair enough, going for the for the probe. But this photon cannon actually canceling, I think. With the committal that Zealot was going for, I think I would have kept those cannons alive just to see if I could do something. Because as soon as those cannons finish, one stalker's not going to be able to, to do anything. You would need more stalkers and maybe a shield battery. So, I think those were a little bit prematurely canceled. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens right here. <laughs> Zealot just now throwing down his cybernetics core it's only halfway done he has not expanded yet and now he's going for some long distance mining right here for no reason he really should be mining from the main mineral patch right here he's only 11 out of 16 probes on the minerals on this nexus right here oh my god dude <laughs> Taking a look at the worker count, it is 29 workers to 21 in favor of Potato King by 10 workers. No upgrades will be on the field just yet. We don't have any forges. Warp Gate just now finishing up for Potato King. Potato King could honestly push out and win the game. And we have the... <laughs> oh, no. We have the most unusual expansion right here on the golden mineral patches. If you guys didn't know, you can destroy these cooling towers. They will destroy the Zelnaga towers, and then you can put your uh, your Nexus in a normal place. But I, I don't think this is the right call. I really don't think this is the right call, Zealot. This is going to be this is going to be so hard to defend right here, and also. For whatever reason, throwing down his static defense in the natural base location when he really should be throwing down his defense on this faraway nexus. Bruh. <laughs> Not recommended. I know the golden mineral patches look so good and they give you more 
They give you more minerals, but dude, th this is not the move, unfortunately. Warp Gate is being researched at the very least. I wouldn't have been shocked if there was no Warp Gate. Potato King is going to send over the Observer right here, but he's not going to see much more than what is going to be uh, something really weird. Delit trying to hide this. I, <laughs> I don't I don't even know. Now Zealot's like, well, I, I don't want to saturate my golden mineral patches and give up my location. So that's actually a decent move by Zealot, but that's also kind of hilarious. <laughs> I swear to God, if he expands right here. Okay, he's not. He's also not expanding in the natural base. This is, there. there's no way Zealot wins this game. I, I don't think. We have a lot of immortals coming down for Potato King right here. At this point, at this point, Zealot should really just take take his natural base this is this is not ideal and now he can't saturate it because he'll give away his position potato king has sight right here and zealot knows it not even building a robo now we have a robo so zealot listening to me just a little bit <laughs> from future alaix right here watching his game as it's being played Throwing down another Photon Cannon. I think these Photon Cannons are just wasted money at this point. Each Photon Cannon could be a Warp Gate. They cost the same amount of minerals. Zealot is going for... <laughs> is going for saturating this base. But dude, still not building his natural base. Man, this is rough. This is rough. But Potato King in no rush. He's just kicking it. At this point in the game, he may consider expanding. May consider throwing down a third base. But it looks like he's probably going to be pushing out soon here. Moving his stalkers down to the natural base. Has the observer right here and sees that there's no push out coming from Zealot. So... He knows he's in a safe position right now. He's safe to move out. There's no no units coming down towards his base. And sure enough, we see what is going to be a move out right here. From Potato King, but leaving his immortals behind. These immortals, this is where your real DPS is here. So, move those immortals. There you go. And this is a good amount of immortals too. Four immortals. We have one that's being left behind. We also have what's going to be a Warp Prism. Coming out from this robotics facility. This observer did get sniped though. So Zealot has observers on the field. Has the slow warp in on the low ground. Oh no. There's no reason to not warp in your units by the warp gates and just walk them down. The army supply is crazy though. 58 army supply to 22 in favor of Potato King. But Potato King did not scout this gold base so zealot is happily mining off the rich mineral patches even though he's mining from farther away than he really should be but we have a big move out right here potato king i think going in for the kill able to hold that cannon rush that super delayed cannon rush in the beginning potato king actually checking for a third base but little does he know there's not even a, a, a technically a third base in the natural location but there's not even an expansion down here also throwing down more slow warp in zealots or not zealot stalkers this is a huge army though rolling over zealot zealot still in this game right here though he's, he's trying his best still with the slow warp in you could literally warp in your units right by the warp gates and they would warp in so much faster as we can see they're slow more slow more slow mo warping in right now god i can't talk <laughs> and here we go ladies and gentlemen i think this is it i think this is the end of the game we have the warp prism right here as well i think zealot thinks he's still in the game though no never mind throwing out a gg good sport potato king returning the gg good sportsmanship but but these are Protoss players, so what do you expect? Man, what a what a crazy, silly game. That opener. 
that opener was just such a late cannon rush. I think that put Zealot behind and also uh, going for the expansion right here really should have taken his natural and started macroing up. I think that would have kept him in the game, but unfortunately, that's not what happened. And that left Potato King victorious. So very fun game to watch. If you enjoyed what you saw, please consider shooting me a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want me to cast any of your own games, I will leave my email in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.